Hi, this is Rob, Longevity Learning Lab. One of the good things I like about working at this place is I get to open up new equipment. And we've got a couple different units here that I'm going to show you. And uh, the first one is the MIGWELD 100. And it's a little flux core welder. It runs on the 110 and there's no gas needed. But uh, we're going to open this one up and uh, see what we got with it. And uh, just like birthday or Christmas, I keep saying that. And uh, we've got a couple, couple other machines coming up here pretty soon too. I know we're going to have a real hot stick welder. Let me see what we got. Now I see the manual. That's always a good sign when there's a manual in here. Now this one's supposed to be really, really easy. And uh, 100, 100 amp, that's not too bad. It's, uh, you can go up to a quarter inch thick. We've got some goodies here. It's going to take a minute. so. Uh, you can get this out of the box and be right back. Okay, here we go. Let's see what this thing is. Ah, all shiny. No fingerprints. Let's see. So, we've got our manual here. So, it's going to show you everything you need to know. The typical safety stuff. And, it, yeah, okay. Just typical stuff. And then what we got? Oh, yeah. Comes with the hood and the lens and the little brush. Little wrench, extra tips. Some wire. Now remember, this is just flux core. This is not a hard wire, so there's no gas hookup on this. And the spool, huh, the spool is going to go like this, like a record player. That's an easy way to feed it into your gun. I like that. That way, this way, this uh, the the lid doesn't fall down on your head if you're not careful. Huh? Kind of like that. And then you got your stinger. Your gun and your, your ground are all together. They're, and like I said, this does not come apart like our, all our other units. This all stays nice and together. Get this out of here. Don't want to scratch it up, make it dirty. Oh, yeah. yeah huh? Okay, that's pretty straightforward. A little small, little gun. Real lightweight. Trigger looks good. Yeah, I'm. I'm impressed. Now it's uh, this is not digital either. This is, has your gauge on it, and this is a handle that you go ahead and put this on later. The handle will go up there for you. And uh, let me go ahead and move the camera, and I'll get you in a little closer here. Let me show you how we set it up here for you. It's really, really, really easy. And uh, so it plugs into the 110 outlet, and you got your ground. And it's all connected right up on here, just like like the other ones. Now, when you turn it on, you got your light, obviously. Then you have a minimum and maximum setting down here. Let me see if I turn that a little bit better for you. There you go. You got the minimum and maximum setting here, and then you got a, a fault light. Now, fault light will automatically hit a breaker inside the machine when it gets too hot and it gets overloaded. So it protects the machine, it protects your house or your garage or whatever too, it protects everything. And then you got your, your heat control and your speed control here. Okay, that's all in one knob. So really that's straightforward on that end of the machine. Now, on the inside of it, when you're setting up the spool, now they send you a little, little small spool like that. Well, from what I'm finding out, it's uh, that's the only size that you can put in. You can't put in the other, uh, the medium size ones. It's just not enough room to it's too close to the feed. So you just use your smaller spool. And being a 100 amp, I wouldn't go with wire thickness. I wouldn't go any more than maybe a an 030. You probably put an 035 in there, but uh, you're just going to max out the machine, you know. And it, that if you need it, use it. Uh, so when you put this in. Uh, and it runs just like a, a record record player, which is actually pretty cool because that helps, you know, if I, I'm not going to speak for myself, but have you ever had the spool fall off your machine? <laughs> there we go, just like that. Keep a hold of everything. Ah, I can't get that. Just like that, and this will be your tension for it. That way, if when you do stop welding, it's not going to go ahead and, and spin out on you. Okay, let's run it through here. Now, it comes with extra tips also. 
And so, like I said, it, I don't know what the tips are comprised of with the sizes, but I'm sure it's going to be an 023 and an 030. Yeah, right there. There we go. And I got my glasses on too. Just like that. Now one of the wheels here on your drive is a, a plastic wheel, but I don't foresee any problem with that. And then you just slide it right on in. Boom, you're ready to go on that. So, let's make our wire coming through. Just like that, we know it works. And when you're doing something like this and you're jogging the wire, it's another good thing that you're not using the gas because there's no purge button to worry about or anything like that. And it'll come right on through. Make sure it comes through. <laughs> there we go. Real easy and clean the tips. Put that there. There we go. This is nice, nice and light too. I'd say it's no more than 25 pounds. It'll probably say it here on the book. But it'd be great, you know, like it even says uh, on the front of it, it says DIY, you know, do it yourself. It's great for the garage. But body work, anything like that. Ornamental iron. Here it comes. And the ground cable is pretty nice too. Just, just keep, keep track of it. And there's the wire there. And we're ready to rock and roll here. Let's do some welding. Okay, let's run this and see, see how it works. Now this is a eighth inch going to a quarter inch and I've got it turned up to about eight. So that's almost all the way up. And this is an 030 wire. Let's see how it looks. Oh yeah, that's a nice hot spark. Okay, you get some spatter spray on that. Hold on just a second. Oh, not handy. Okay, let's run a bead and see how it looks. I'm just going to do drag bead. the drag bead that, that runs pretty nice let's turn it around and go and push well that's consistent now it's just up to me to just go dial it in make it run a little smoother and then remember with the flux core it's a uh, it's not as pretty as uh, with the gas welding because you have the, the slag you got to clean up. But hell, for the price of the little MIG Weld 100, I like it. Well, here's your MIG Weld 100. Yeah, nice little little unit. I like it. It's real easy, straightforward. I get a kick out of having the spool going like a phonograph. But it's, you can see it. It's nice. You don't have to duck inside and look for anything else. But remember, this is just a Flux Core 110. And, uh, it comes with all the other goodies. It comes with your little shield and your other tips and your handle you put on. And, uh, and it also, remember, it comes with the smaller spool. It doesn't go for the, the bigger spools. And uh, the next one we're going to be doing is the Stick Weld 200. And I can do that on my next video. So uh, I'm Rob, and thanks for joining me on Longevity Learning Lab. We'll see you when we do this.